in the first slide we are going to look at proportional action for a proportional control a controller output of the proportional control with respect to the error signal can be given by this equation where p of t is the controller output equivalent to p bar which is the bias value or the steady state value in some article or book they are referring this value as the uh, nominal controller output and the output controller will also depend on the error and also kc which is the proportional controller gain so this is a typical proportional control action so we can see that if the gain is increased or the error is increased the proportional control output will also be increased on top of the previous control action the control output is smaller as the error is smaller zero steady state error is impossible so this is the common issue in the proportional control so that is why sometimes we need to introduce a composite control which will include the other and the other application of integration and also derivative into the control signal to improve the response or the performance of the controller so under proportional control action zero steady state error is uh, in in some case it can be achieved but in most cases it is uh, difficult to be achieved